Chair of this Commission session, Madam Executive Secretary of ESCAP, Ms. Amida Salsia Ali Sabana, Your Excellencies, Distinguished Delegates, Ladies and Gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure today to deliver this statement on behalf of the government and the people of the Republic of Vanuatu. It is now a little over a year into the COVID-19 pandemic. The world has been faced with unprecedented health, social, and economic crisis, which threatened to roll back decades of development gains. So many lives have been lost. Economics have suffered sudden contraction and society left railing. The most vulnerable have suffered. The most and those left behind are being left even further behind. We convened today on our collaborative effort to find solution to the COVID-19 pandemic and work towards a better future for ourselves, our children, and the future generation to come. In this contest, I fully support the term topic of this commission season to build back better from crisis through regional cooperation in Asia and the Pacific. I will go further to say that building back should not be to return to pre-crisis development patterns, but to shape development and partnership towards equality, resilience, and environmental sustainability. Ladies and gentlemen, in all countries, the economic shock caused by the pandemic has exposed structural weakness and fault lines, notably in health and social protection systems. For Vanuatu, a recently graduate least developed country, the challenge was compounded by a natural disaster. The COVID-19 pandemic followed by the Category 5 tropical cyclone, Arol, which caused extensive devastation in April 2020, has mean detrimental impacts on the economic society and communities and an unprecedented level. The path to recovery will be a challenging one to navigate. Like many other small Pacific Island countries, Vanuatu has managed to escape the COVID-19 transmission. Swift lockdown on international borders provided a window to prepare on the health side, but this contentment major cripple the economic and in the, the humanitarian response to TC Arol. More than any other, this compound disaster has blurred the line between response recovery and disaster risk reduction. The immediate danger of TC Arol has ended, yet social pressure and trauma remain, and in some cases are escalating. The concurrent disruption across sector and more pressure on existing and emerging social risk. If the coronavirus did enter Vanuatu, the health focus will immediately need to swing from prevention and preparedness to treatment and containment. An international lockdown will heavily impact private and domestic sector participation in recovery process. 
add further stress to the economic and deepen the impact on community coping mechanism, which with rapid closure of international borders in March 2020. For us, the COVID-19 went from a health threat to an economic emergency. Many businesses, especially those relying on tourists, effectively grounds to a halt. No tourist arrival and a reduced resident community immediately impacted the hospitality and construction sector, putting at least 8,000 formal jobs in Chopadi and affecting the livelihoods of tens of thousands of people in the informal sector. The 1,000 plus licensed undergraduate artisans saw income plummet to near zero. Social distancing precaution mutually disrupted fruit and vegetable market sales. TCR all decimated the agricultural sector with economic loss estimate reaching 18 billion vatu and caused widespread disruption on private and public property. Government assessment estimate but the total loss and damage associated with TCR roll and COVID-19 at around US dollar 687, excluding damage and losses of the environment sector, which corresponds to approximately 61% of the 2020 gross domestic product GDP focused by the Microeconomic Committee. Ladies and gentlemen, to build back better in response to COVID-19 and TCR, the Vanuatu government has put together policies and strategies aligned to the National Sustainable Development Plan to address the impact of the compound disaster. We, react, we reacted swiftly, imposing international lockdown, followed by an extended period of national state of emergency from March 2020 up to present, as an immediate measure to contain the spread of the virus. We developed a national recovery strategy that is M at supporting communities impacted by TCR and COVID-19, providing that framework to recover, rebuild, and emerge stronger and more resilient. The strategy responds to social, economic, and envir environmental impacts of the compound disaster. It re-established and strengthened the public service to effectively lead and implement recovery in health and education, support and protect people with disability and uh, vulnerable groups, including repair and upgrade infrastructure and strengthening environmental service and resilience. The Vanuatu government also introduced the COVID-19 stimulus package with a focus on preserving jobs, providing government subsidies and commodity support grant, tuition fee, exemption grant for employment stabilization, stabilizing business and trade activities, tax relief, facilitating rural growth, and enabling remittance through labor mobility programs. The government is spending 4.2 billion vatu for this program, but may not be able to sustain the economic if the COVID-19 situation does not end soon. We have renegotiated and re-established the seasonal workers program with Australia and New Zealand, a bilateral arrangement where Vanuatu exposed labor in the form of its workers to work in farms hospitality and meat processing factory in New Zealand and Australia. 
The program has proven to be a success with more than 5,000 Nirvana to workers recruited in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. Vanuatu has also taken a bold step to graduate out of the LDC category on December 4, 2020, despite TCR role and in the midst of COVID-19. We have done so because we believe it is the right thing to do, which propels Vanuatu in the positive can-do attitude that we will rise up and do all we can with courage, boldness and determination to address and cope with the natural characteristic of our existence and most importantly the unique nature of the COVID-19 pandemic that is still unrevealing with no clear trajectory and O hand in sight. We wish to acknowledge the invaluable banking from UNESCO, UNDESA, and untucked EU, the Government of Australia, New Zealand, and those development partners who supported the development of our smooth transition strategy. With the support, Vanuatu will transition smoothly beyond graduation with new vigor, new thinki thinking, and new pathways of development and partnership towards equality, resilience, and environmental sustainability. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the COVID-19 pandemic represents one of the most profound challenges to social economic development in our region and beyond. There is no doubt that the current pandemic has a broad humanitarian, social, and economic impact in the short to long term and has set back achievement of the 2030 Agenda and Sustainable Development Goals. We have come to acknowledge that this issue is increasingly in eluding the control of individual national governments. International cooperation is therefore critical and essential. To recover better together, we need to take comprehensive action at the global, regional, and national level. Effective and sustainable support is now needed more than ever to regain regional momentum for advancing the 2030 agenda while building inclusive economic and resilient society. To build back better together and beyond the pandemic, Vanuatu support the five-point policy agenda proposed by this commission. We need to work collectively in enhancing regional cooperation, build universal social protection along the life course, investing in sustained recovery, promote trade facility facilitation, and safeguard the environment health. I thank you.